Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I'm attempting to smoke Three Oaks Syrian by McClelland in my Peterson 101 shaped uh, silver mounted army billiard. I say attempting to smoke because I'm having a lot of trouble keeping it lit. I was actually just recording a review for this, and throughout the entire review I just had to do relight after relight after relight, and I dried it out for several weeks in the tin when I first got it, and it's still just a little too moist. And the cut's also kind of coarse, so it just, I don't know, it doesn't pack as well. But it's an interesting blend, and you can look for that review to show up within a few days, probably maybe Thursday of this week. We'll see. Watched the Seahawks game today. I was a little disappointed. Their defense actually did quite well. They're starting to get more turnovers and everything. Um, but the offense, I don't know. They won, but it wasn't as much of a blowout as everyone was predicting. But a win's a win. Football's the only sport I care about at all. It's the only sport I pay any attention to whatsoever. I couldn't care less about the NBA. Baseball kind of bores me. I enjoy playing baseball, but in terms of watching it on television, meh. Didn't watch any of the World Series, wasn't really aware of anything that was going on, even though I guess it was supposedly a good one this year. I don't know. But football I like. I played rugby and football in my high school years, briefly. I enjoyed the response to the last Sunday Smoke video I posted last week, and I'm not sure if this is going to be an every week kind of thing, but I kind of just enjoy the, here's what I've been doing, here's what's been on my mind, and it's a nice opportunity to interact with the viewers, so it's cool. I enjoy the, the comments that people leave. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments from people or private messages from people suggesting different tobaccos for me to review. And I do appreciate those tobaccos and I do try to write, or those suggestions, and I do try to write them all down. I can't guarantee when and if I'll ever get to those blends though. I have a big backlog of blends that I'm trying to review. Um, today I just recorded the review for Three Oaks, like I mentioned, but I've got, I think at least a dozen other blends that I have that I've been sort of slowly working my way through and I'm gonna try to review all those guys, but I just can't, I can't order, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens and try to split my time between all those because to me, while I enjoy smoking other blends, I kind of have my staples which change a little bit, but then I sort of insert these other blends in every once in a while and I need to kind of focus on them in order to get a good idea. Um, I've noticed, especially with some of the more complicated kind of Balkan blends, if I smoke one bowl, it might taste completely different to me the first time I smoke it. So I really need to, to smoke quite a few bowls to really get my head around the flavor and decide exactly what I think about it. But I do appreciate the suggestions and I will try to get to some of these blends. A lot of people have suggested certain aromatic blends and I, I'm always kind of leery of aromatics. I will, I think, try to get into some aromatics eventually and review some of those, but I also don't know how helpful my reviews of aromatics would be just because I am almost just completely an English vapor Balkan kind of smoker. So you might want to go to someone who has, who's more of an aromatics expert to get your review, but we'll see. Maybe I'll develop a taste for him. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Won't stay lit, baby. Come on now. Watched a good movie the other day. I'm trying to catch up on some movies that I had written down I was supposed to watch. Come on, baby. There we go. So maybe this could be a segment to Bradley's movie reviews or at least movie recommendations. I watched Locke, L-O-C-K-E. It's a movie, I think it came out this year, maybe it was late last year, um, an English film starring Tom Hardy, who you've seen in 
I guess the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises as Bane. He's been in a bunch of different things, especially English films. But he's a very good actor, and Locke is a film which takes place entirely in his car as he is driving from northern England to London. Um, and if that sounds boring, it's not. It's not boring at all. It's actually really well acted and a very interesting film because throughout the course of the movie, you sort of understand what he's doing, what this trip means. He's actually a foreman for a very large construction company and they have a giant concrete pour coming up the next day and it's basically for the foundations for a huge skyscraper which they're building and instead of going home from work he gets in his car and starts driving to London and throughout cell phone calls with his wife, his kids, his boss, other employees you sort of start to, well you do start to realize why he's making this trip you realize that he's throwing a bunch of things away because he's not going to be there for this poor he was supposed to go watch the big soccer game with his family um, there's a lot of drama and a lot of tension and it's kind of a cool exercise in filmmaking to set a film completely within a car and still make it compelling. It just shows you the power of the medium, the medium of film basically. Um, but it's very worth, well worth checking out. I think it's out on video now. You could probably get it on iTunes or things like that. Locke, L-O-C-K-E, starring Tom Hardy. Very good. You do not want me to smoke you, do you, buddy? I don't mind relighting because usually it's because I've been talking or, you know, it's just kind of par for the course when you're smoking. But this tobacco just... seems like it's really putting up a fight. I enjoyed the responses to the question I posed in the last Sunday Smoke video as well. I was talking about or asking about whether or not people would smoke a certain pipe several times throughout the day. Um, another question I was sort of pondering, do most of you guys have a go-to blend, like your staple blend, which you mostly smoke and then maybe you'll branch out and try other things for a little bit of a change, or are you constantly trying new things um, throughout the days and weeks. I seem to sort of settle into having a staple which shifts like every couple months maybe, but usually I have one blend which I smoke more often than not and then I do branch out and try other things too and you know depending on the time of day or what I'm doing, what I feel like, the kind of weather, but right now my staple blend is uh, my mixture 965. I'm really enjoying that lately and it was Elizabethan mixture, and I still do really enjoy Elizabethan mixture, but I'm just curious to know, do you guys have a staple blend? And if so, what is it? So, I think that's enough to be going on with for this edition of Sunday Smoke. Uh, I hope you guys have a good week coming up. Until next time, uh, like I said, I'll be posting that video for the review of Three Oaks, probably on Thursday, but don't hold me to that. But until I see you guys again, thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. Good day. <laughs>